what do I even be singing sometimes? Like, what are words? Hey friends, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Lauren, if you're new here, and even if you're not new here, stop what you're doing and double check that you're subscribed, please. So today I did a little get ready with me. I updated you guys a little bit on where I have been and also how I get this look that covers all of my scarring from my acne. So if you wanna figure out how I got this look then just keep watching. Today I'm gonna to basically show you guys how to get a full coverage um, makeup look if you are someone who struggles with acne or maybe you got over acne and you still have a lot of scarring and texture because same sis. Okay, so first things first, when it comes to any type of like makeup treatment, the first thing that you need to cover is skin. If your skin's not looking right, it doesn't matter how pretty the makeup is, it's not gonna look good on your skin. So first I'm gonna go in with this Pixi Rose Caviar Essence. And actually you guys, I picked these up from a CVS or Walgreens the other day and they have these on clearance. Sometimes I feel like they pick like random Pixi things and put them on clearance. Hopefully it's not because they're getting rid of it, I don't know. This is a hydrating essence, encapsulated moisture serum, that's what it says. To hydrate, restore brightness, and nourish skin. So put some of that on, and then I'm gonna use this Rose Flash Balm. And this is a instant skin booster. It can be used as a mask, or if you wanna use it as a primer, which I did yesterday. I used this as a primer yesterday. You put it on, you're not supposed to rub it. You're supposed to just smooth it onto your face. And I swear that this made the difference in my makeup. I usually use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Um, and yeah, I decided to switch it up and try this out. And I was pretty happy with the results because this is kind of silicone-y, so it just creates a really smooth base. Okay, so now the skin is prepped. Little disclaimer, you guys, I don't know what color I am. I got a new foundation and then I've been out in the sun since then and then I've been using all these products on my face. So really, I'm in the middle of having my right color. But this process usually works for me either way. I can I can make it work, you know? So Too Faced Born This Way Sculpt and Conceal Concealer, kind of spot treat. I'm just gonna put this anywhere I have like extremely dark spots and I am aware that this is too light. This is my actual under eye concealer and it would probably be a lot better if you color correct it, but my foundation is also too dark. So this kind of gives me a right in the middle mix situation. I've been struggling a lot recently with hormonal breakouts next to my chin. <sighs> Baby, I'm over it for real. Like, Come on, good skin me now, please. But it's definitely been getting better. Like, I think this was like the first setback I've had in a while because I really felt like my skin was starting to clear up. And let me tell you, the reason that I'm having these breakouts is the dairy, you guys. Like, everything in me knows that I'm not supposed to eat dairy. And then one temptation comes, I'm just like, yeah, maybe a little bit won't hurt. And then boom. Going in with this Rare Beauty foundation in the color 430W, which like I said, this is a little bit too warm for me, but we're about to make it work. So if you notice, I like to use a brush because it absorbs less product to me versus if you use a sponge, you can get a really pretty look and a super pretty finish. The only thing is though, is that it, it's gonna absorb a lot more of your makeup. So brushes are definitely gonna give you a full coverage look. So keep that in mind too. If you want a more natural look, you might opt for a sponge instead of a brush. So I'm gonna blend everything out and I'm staying kind of away from the top part of my forehead because that's like the number one thing that's gonna give away that your foundation is the wrong color. So 
We're building our base right now. This is what it looks like pretty much after one layer of the foundation and the concealing spot treatment. So this foundation, I think does a pretty good job of giving me coverage. It's buildable, I would say. Put some more concealer underneath my eye and then I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of this uh, e.l.f. camo concealer. Now just a little bit because this is super bright um, and that's what I want. So I'm just gonna put this like right here so that I can have a nice little bright snatched look. Some of y'all may or may not know if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, like, what are you even doing? But if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I'm moved. So I, whoops, I am born and raised in Dallas, and I recently just moved to Katy. So I knew that moving out here, it was gonna be a big adjustment because I'm away from all of my friends and family, which is hard. It is hard to be away from my friends and family. But I knew that me being out here and not knowing anyone was gonna work in my favor because something I realize about myself is I'm easily distracted or I don't know if it's that I'm like just scared to start or what, but I can talk myself out of so many things. For example, say I'm in Dallas and one of my friends like wants me to do something with them or needs help with something, like my willpower to be like, no is not that great i'm usually like okay well maybe i could try to like hurry up and do this and then you know what i mean and i'm not giving like my full effort to things and for me a person like me there is no hurry up and do it because i'm such an overthinker and like perfectionist when it comes to things if i do it quickly and i'm not satisfied with it i'm not putting it out so i mean it's good practice i suppose but it's kind of a waste of my time because i don't want to put out subpar work and i'm half-assing it because i'm letting social obligations get in the way of me focusing on what's actually my work. But another thing I have to adjust to is like, I've been working since I've been here and all of the jobs that I've been at recently, I'm so unhappy with them. I'm just like, this is ghetto. I don't wanna be doing this. And I'm not trying to be lazy or anything like that, but I feel like the reason that I feel this way is because these are not jobs that are aligned with my purpose, essentially, you know? But at the end of the day, I'm often in the position where I'm like, well, I need a job and that puts me where I have to just accept whoever is going to pay me for the most part. And I've had a lot of really good jobs actually, but I'm never satisfied with them because it's not what I wanna do. Like this is what I wanna do. And because this is not a traditional job and because I personally don't know anyone who does this, I think it just takes a lot more willpower to unlearn the things that have taught you that you get up and go to work a nine to five every single day and make someone else money. Like, yeah, that is a lifestyle that people can live and that I have always lived, but I'm no longer interested in living that lifestyle anymore. So I really am just um, trying to take the time to figure out like how I can actually be successful in my endeavors. And the main thing for me is I'm not consistent. Like I'm not y'all, all jokes aside, y'all please pray a spirit of consistency over me because I need it. I need this lazy spirit to be off of me immediately. This is like the first sit down video that I've done. I don't know if you guys noticed the lighting. I got a light. It's the one that Carly Bybell uses and she talks about it in her video. I'm gonna have everything linked below for you guys though. And you guys truly, I am in love. The weather here is so like gray and gloomy all the time. And that's another reason I think that has been like kind of halting my productivity because I'm like, baby, it's dark. It's looking like depression outside. Like, I don't want to film. The lighting's not good. It makes me feel, I don't know, like I'm just a person who like, I'm gonna thrive when the sun is out. Like the sun is out and I'm like, oh, we doing things? Oh, we're productive? Okay, oh, we're drinking our water? Oh, we're going for a walk? Oh, we're filming? Oh, we're taking pictures? You know what I mean? Like the sun's out and I'm acting up, but it's gloomy and I'm like, Sleep is actually, I'm kidding. I really don't even sleep like that during the day, but I gotta let you guys. So basically now I can film even when it's dark outside. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell behind me, it's actually a rainy, gloomy, cold day outside. And before that would have meant that like filming this video today was not an option, but now it's like, baby, 
they ain't said Nathaniel. Let's just take a moment for the skin. This is with just our base on basically. And yes, that did take a little bit of time, but this is really good coverage. Um, this foundation has a dewy finish, but I am going to set it with powder, so that's gonna be okay. If you guys have foundation recommendations, I would love them. I need to put something on my lips. Excuse me. It's all spilling crusty. Also, if y'all struggle with like really dry lips or anything during the winter, this is hella empty, but this is what I just put on my lips. It's a healing ointment from CeraVe, CeraVe, however you say it. Um, this is really good and you can use it on your skin if you're having like some really like dry issues because a lot of times if you struggle with acne or hyperpigmentation, you're probably putting a lot of like drying stuff on your face. This will kind of bring you back. Now I'm going in with this Maybelline Fit Me translucent powder. I don't know what color this is. I think it's like in the color medium. This is an option, but it's not my favorite. I honestly think I would prefer the Laura Mercier, but I'm using this little Real Techniques brush. I'm dipping it in here and then I tap off any extra and I'm just going to stamp it. I'm a star, look at me from afar, halting me down the earth, when you nest in no Mars, you come and know how I move, too much space to assume, but I'ma tell you the truth, shit, now, when I'm gone, and I roam, around the globe, for three months, that's too long. I feel like I was doing really good on YouTube, posting like consistently, for a couple of weeks, and then I got two jobs at the same time, literally on the same day, I got two jobs, so I started back working at this salon, in Dallas and I started working at the strip club y'all so I have a friend who's a dancer and she had been working at this club ever since corona started we used to work at our corporate America office job together and then we all got laid off because of COVID she started dancing so she was having a really good successful time up there and she would always tell me like all these stories about it this is around the time too that Pea Valley got super popular. Also, I'm using this Wet n Wild bronzer. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm using this Wet n Wild bronzer in the color What Shady Beaches. So, this is around the time that Pea Valley came out. So, you know, all of the stories that she had been telling me about work, and then Pea Valley comes out, and I'm like, oh my god, this is like the same thing. And that show was just like so interesting to me. After a while of like not working from home, I'm like, okay, well, I gotta get a job eventually. So. I go up to this strip club and I went and got a job as a waitress. I didn't um, dance there, I was just a waitress. But, so I started working at the strip club for a couple of weeks and that was like really crazy and interesting, but it was fun. It was fun to be able to work as entertaining. Like the whole night, there's something for you to watch. It's not gonna be boring, you can bet that. The only thing was I was working at this strip club from 9 p.m to 5 a.m. They close at five. I wouldn't really get off or be on my way home until maybe like 5.30 or after. So I would get home and it basically be like right before six. And then I would have to be at my other job in the morning at nine. So I would get home. You get home from a strip club and you stink. Like you stink so bad. You smell like cigarettes, weed, like, I don't know, just like stale air and so much of it. So get home at like six, shower, wash off all my makeup, take off my eyelashes, get in the bed until about like eight. I have to be at work at nine. So get up, hurry up, put my makeup on really quick and then bounce to the other job. Come home, I'm not gonna be tired enough to take a nap. So I'm pretty much just up. You see what I'm saying? So that was my life for a couple of weeks. I'm gonna put on some more bronzer it's a blush really but the color is very terracotta so it looks like bronzer i'm gonna put that on next so basically i started working two jobs at once i'm like exhausted every single day but i'm in my bag you know what i mean also i have been doing my balloon business on the side so i still did have some type of income but it just wasn't enough and it wasn't something that i could always guarantee i'm gonna be able to count on so when i got all these jobs and then was working like crazy for a couple of weeks and then i had a death in the family and so i had to travel out of town I was gone for a little bit so anyway i'm using this um this shade right here don't talk about how i fit pan y'all this shade right here and i'm kind of using it as a bronzer and as a blush 
and I'm gonna blend it in pretty good because I don't want it to look harsh. But I just want y'all to peep um, like the coverage. Obviously, um, you can still see my breakouts and stuff right here. But as far as like my scarring goes, I think this does a pretty good job at covering it. Now I'm gonna go in with this Milani Bella Bellini blush. You have to be careful with stuff like this though because it has like highlight in it. It's just something to keep in mind. I do like that though too because it's gonna give you like a pretty glow. And if you like to go for like a natural effortless look, this is good for you. And even though you're putting on this much makeup, you can definitely get a natural look. Back in like a club type of environment kind of. Um, I don't know how this keeps ending up for me. I guess I keep ending up in environments like this because it's fast money and I don't want to work 40 hours for someone when this is really what I want to be doing. Situations that I keep ending up in are constant reminders that I don't want to work for anybody else. But it hit me the other day like, don't you realize, Lauren, that God is not putting you in positions where you're gonna be extremely comfortable because that's not where you're supposed to be going? Like, yes, I can obviously work jobs and do, but it's not supposed to feel perfectly comfortable for me because it's not for me. It's for right now. It's for right now. And, um, and I don't want to get in a position where I feel comfortable at a nine to five again, because I've done that so many times where you get, where you're like, oh, I love that the money is consistent, you know, but I'm like, there's so much more money that I can make and deal with a whole lot less from other people. Anyway, y'all let's talk about body dysmorphia. I have been noticing sometimes days where I feel like really gross about the way that I look and I have like a lot of negative self-talk going on and I'm just like, I feel fat. I don't like the way I look. And like when I look in the mirror, you cannot tell me that those things that I'm seeing are not there. And so the other day I took a video of myself and I'm like, oh my God, I look so bloated and this is this, this. And when I went back and watched the video later, I was like, what are you talking about? But when I posted that, when I was saying those things, it was true to me. Like the way that I saw my body was in a way that's not true. And I don't know if this is like a side effect of just how social media is or what. Then it was funny too that Chloe had her little uh, IG live talking about, you know, basically her body positivity and the feedback that she was getting from it because, you know, People are always gonna be like completely ridiculous, but it is so good to have those moments where you're feeling like super confident and like sexy in your skin because even people that you look at like Chloe or maybe even some people to me and you think like, wow, they have such a great body. They have such this, 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 this. Those things are probably true, but that doesn't mean that that person always is aware of the blessings that they have. You know, like your mind can tell you things are not true and you get so used to your mind telling you those things that you start to believe it. And the only solution for that is just like stopping negative self-talk as soon as it happens. Like being like, girl, sh shut up. I mean, you don't tell you something, shut up. But like, you look good. And if you don't love it, what are you gonna do about it? You're gonna go to the gym, you're gonna drink your water, you're gonna do what you have to do to feel confident and snatch, but you're gonna love your body while it's here as well because it's yours and it got you up this morning and it took you this far and somebody like it, hmm. So anyway, trying to change the relationship that I have with my body, even though like I know that I don't have the furthest to go, I'm not um, that far from my own body goals. I'm sure men deal with insecurities too, but like it, you have to really remind yourself that it's not as bad as it seems. And you really do look great. You really do just have to appreciate your body with every level. Hey guys, I'm back. Hopefully the lighting outside hasn't changed too much, but I went ahead and pretty much finished my makeup. Uh, well, I put on some lashes, finished my brows and eyeshadows. I'm gonna go back in with the blush, the dark blush brush, stamp that on. And then I'm gonna take this Milani Glow Fake Bronzer in the color four. And this is like the most natural looking highlight color I've ever seen personally. It doesn't, I mean, it does have a, like a, a sheen to it, but it's like, it doesn't have much of like a color. So it really looks 
natural. Like it just gives you shine, which I like. Cause you don't want that white cast where you put your highlight. And I don't have a contour that I actually like right now, which is why I'm even going in and doing the highlight. Cause I feel like you know, if you contour good enough, like you won't have to do that. But I think it gives a cute little, y'all this hair is cute. I'm really here for it. This is the CoverGirl Gloss in Toasted Grill. It's like the most natural looking nude. Oops. And look at me. This is so pretty. So. A little bit of my Fenty Gloss Foam. It's gone basically, but you know, I'm not gonna throw it away until I feel like I've literally used everything that I can get out of here. So it's probably time to throw it away now. So now everything is pretty much done. This is as much as I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Active Post-Workout Cool Down Mist. You can also obviously use this to set your face. And I like to spray kind of a lot because I feel like that's what makes the makeup start kind of like melting together and gives you more of like a natural look. And when you're someone who uses a lot of makeup to cover acne and you still want it to look natural-ish, like you're definitely gonna need a setting spray or some type of like face mist for after because all the powders that you put on to get the coverage will make you look cakey, so. I love it here. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please make sure before you go that you double check to see if you're actually subscribed because apparently like 60 something percent of y'all watch my videos and y'all aren't really subscribed, so. Please check to see that you are subscribed. Like this video and leave a comment. You guys, whenever y'all leave comments, it helps other people to find me because it boosts my engagement. So your likes and comments are very much appreciated. But anyway, that is it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. Don't act like I'm average, you want me home.